from brand new bowling alleys to, no, not miniature bowls, but a production line of electric light bulbs. Objects taken so much for granted that about the only time they attract attention is when they fail. One of the first steps in this exceedingly complex task, carried out in a factory in Wembley, London, is to take a carefully measured portion of tungsten powder and sprinkle it into a mould prior to pressing. What, and you may well ask, has a tremendously hard metal like tungsten got to do with a fragile thing like an electric light bulb? The answer, as you'll see, lies in the filament, the bit of wire inside the bulb that actually makes the light. After sintering, the bars are swaged. In ordinary English, this means that the metal is cooked at enormous temperatures, then reheated and automatically hammered on all sides in a series of machines until it becomes a rod which gets thinner and thinner as it travels down the line. Finally, after some 50 different processes, the tungsten is about half as thick as a human hair. One of those bars you saw eventually makes about five miles of filament wire. From now on, the pace quickens. Intricate machines do the actual assembly with uncanny dexterity. The component parts are fed in and high pressure gas jets are used for molding and trimming the glass. The tungsten wire, now coiled, is accurately clamped into position and the filaments are now practically ready to be fitted into the glass globes, which are first thoroughly washed to remove any chemical impurities. The bulbs, still open at the base, are placed over the filament sections in quick time prior to being sealed. The bulbs, exhausted of air and filled with a mixture of argon and nitrogen, are now fitted with the caps which will eventually fit into the bayonet socket in somebody's home. Some metal, some glass, a bit of gas, and there you are. Couldn't be simpler. <laughs>